What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can install the Pi-hole DNS into your Ubuntu server and convert your Ubuntu server into a DNS server. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. Okay, so guys, right now you can see my Windows 11 computer screen. Now I'm going to open up the terminal from my computer and I want to get a SSH access into our Ubuntu server. So here I'm going to type SSH, then my Ubuntu server username, which is vserver, then type at the rate. Then I have to type my Ubuntu server IP address, which is 192.168.0.245. Then press enter, then type your Ubuntu server password, then press enter. And guys, here you can see, now I have get access the SSH terminal into my Ubuntu server. Now, after getting SSH access into your Ubuntu server, you have to update and upgrade all the Ubuntu packages. So here you need to type sudo app-y update and then sudo app-y upgrade. Then press enter. Then type your Ubuntu server password. Then press enter. Now this command is going to update and upgrade all the Ubuntu server packages. It's going to take some time, depend on your internet connection speed. Okay. Now after updating and upgrading get completed, you have to get the root terminal of your Ubuntu server. So here you need to type sudo su, then press enter. And guys, here you can see now I get the root terminal into my Ubuntu server. Now after that, open up NFL browser and search on Google Pi-hole DNS. Then go to this first link pihole.net and into this page, click on install. And it should take you to this GitHub repository. Now from here, what you need to do, you have to copy this curl command and paste it on your terminal, then press enter. And it should start installing the Pi-hole DNS server into your Ubuntu server. Here you can see it's checking our OS. If anything get wrong, I'll show you how you can fix it. Okay, so guys, now here you can see we get Pi-hole check error. So now to skip this error or fix this error, you have to copy this command shown on your terminal. Copy this full command from here clear your terminal then paste that command again then press enter and now this is keep going to automatically do everything to your ubuntu server to install the pi-hole dns and during the installation if you get this type of pop-up let me guide you how you can go through all this pop-up so in pi-hole automated installer just select ok then press enter if you get this open source license agreement click on enter then you have to set a static IP address on your Ubuntu server. So I had already set up a static IP address. So I'm going to select here, continue, then press enter. Now from here, you have to select your upstream DNS provider. From here, I'm going to select Google DNS, then press enter. Now from here, if you want to add the block list, select yes, then press enter. And if you want to install the web admin interface so that you can access the Pi-hole DNS server from your browser, you have to select yes. And after that, you will get a web server pop-up and from here, you have to agree to install the light TPD web server into your Ubuntu server. So select yes, then press enter. To enable the logging, select yes and press enter. And make sure to select show everything, then select continue and press enter. And now you don't have to do anything else. This is script gonna take care of everything. It's going to automatically set up the Pi-hole DNS into your Ubuntu server. And after the installation, it will give you the URL to access the web server with a password. Okay guys. Here you can see we get another pop-up called installation complete and if you read this pop-up here you can see it gives us instruction to access our pi-hole DNS following this URL and as a password we have to use this password then select OK and press enter. Now we are not going to use this password as the admin password of our pi-hole DNS so we have to set up or change it. So to do it type this command pi-hole dash a dash p then press enter. Now type any password whatever you want to set up as your Pi-hole DNS web admin panel. So here I'm going to type my password, then press enter, then type the password again, then press enter. Okay, so now new password has been set to our Pi-hole DNS. Now to access the Pi-hole DNS server, open up any of your browser, now take another tab, then type here your Ubuntu server IP address, in my case 192.168.0.245 then slash admin, then press enter. And here you can see we get the Pi-hole DNS web admin panel access. Now type your newly set password here, then click on login. And guys, here you can see 
we have logged in into our PyHole DNS server. Now to use your Ubuntu server as a PyHole DNS server into your network, you have to log in to your router admin panel, then find an option called DHCP. Here you can see my option DHCP server. Now from here you have to change your primary DNS to your Ubuntu server. In my case, the IP address is 192.1.0.245. So here I have to type 192.1.0.245. Then click on save. Now if I get back to your PyHole DNS server, here you can see we have two active clients are connected and using this PyHole DNS server and the total queries. So like this, you can easily set up PyHole DNS server into your Ubuntu server. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching Stack Tutorial and I'm signing out.